blend of course you can also use smooth you can use all the tools literally all the tools just spending a little bit of time here just merging it a little bit and then I will show you how nice this is because this is an actually real join there is nothing uh, that separates this air anymore from from the main sculpt, from the head sculpt. Uh, if I would use, uh, I have now a brush like this. Let's just look and see. No, that's not a nice brush. See, it's it's one one volume. If I use the move brush. And I want to tweak it a little bit. Let's say, well, this to move a little bit over here, and there. That's all possible. That's that's not not a problem. You can smooth it. So, this is a really awesome feature when you think about it because. Uh, this is not just uh, unique to uh, merging in other objects, but it works the same for uh, for primitives. So I can start from this, and I can say that I want to slap on a, a big uh, sphere here at the bottom and do small volumes for his shoulders, and uh, I want to place a box here and trim it so it looks like uh, the <sighs> oh I forgot the name of the muscle actually I don't think it's the trapezius or it could be anyway you can just do that and as long as you remember that you can use separate layers and uh, you could start with a box and you can just use the tools I've, I've shown you before tools like this and you can just cut a basic shape and then when you're happy with your basic shape you can just merge it and start blending as you can see there's much too much too much volume behind this here anyway um, that to me is uh, the most important feature in the in the fox tree, the merging of different volumes. Um, but as I promised, I would also show how you could use, uh, how you could merge a 3D 3B file directly. That's actually very easy. You just go here, merge 3B file, and then you can choose a 3B file. The um, big difference is that. A uh, free B file is always placed on a separate layer and it comes in at a fixed scale. It comes in at the uh, at the resolution that it was made. So oh, this is a, a bit hard to explain. Uh, instead of uh, coming into 3D code with a shape that you want to have filled with voxels, a shape that you can scale uh, bigger and smaller and uh, rotate and do all kinds of things with, you already begin with a volume, you don't begin with a shape, you begin with a volume, I think that is the best uh, terminology to explain the difference. This doesn't mean that you can do the same things with this, because since it's on a separate layer you can use the general transform tool and you can do the same thing you can rotate it you can rotate it, you can scale it and you can merge this really in in the same way I'm just going to show that very quickly and very ugly There we go. If 
So I would say uh, move to head. There we go. And again, a perfect blend. Where you can do anything you want. Yes, it's awesome. All right. Let's see what other options are here in the top screen. Of course, you have clone, which is important. You have clone with symmetry, uh, which means it keeps the, the symmetry. Uh, clone and de degrade. This is actually uh, an important option because uh, in my previous video I told you that you can only move up in resolution. That is not entirely true. You can degrade your scopes to a lower resolution if you need to do that for whatever reason. Um, but as I said, it's a one-way process. When you have degraded your scopes you can't just switch back to the high resolution with all the details. Uh, just to show you what I mean, I'll use clone and degrade. And I'll move it to the side. And as you can see, there is a very definite difference between these two skulls. If you look at, at the details, even though this one is pretty rough, this one simply is lower res, so as you can see, the result, it isn't bad, but it is lower res. Of course, you can scope this and you can do everything that you could do on this one. This is just a lower res copy. Let's see, let's throw this one away for starters. Um, Okay. Um, these two are also pretty interesting. They allow you to uh, let's see how do I explain this? They allow you to scale your object while keeping the resolution fixed. So this means that if I press this one, uh, no, I say this incorrectly. What this does is it increases your resolution in world space. So that means that if your resolution becomes two times as dense, your scope will become two times as small. And in reverse. Uh, I haven't really used this ever. Maybe this this is just in for legacy purposes. Uh, this is if you like three D printing. I don't know if you can see the options. Make hull using voxels. This actually allows you uh, to create uh, a closed skin. So this is nice for three D prints. Transform is actually just like the, the transform option in the menu. Apply actual symmetry is uh, well a bit like an array function that you have in 3D Studio Max or AutoCAD or other modeling packages. Again, something I haven't really used. Quadrangulate uh, is very cool, but I'll save that for another session. So, ah, of course, we still have subtract from and change parents. Uh, change parents speaks pretty much for itself. Uh, currently we only have one layer. Let's say I, I add another layer and I rename this to sphere and I merge in a, uh, or I place a primitive sphere. Let's see, sphere. Not too big. Enter. 
change the tool. Um, if I would use transform on this, nothing special would happen. Now, if I would stand on the head layer and change the parent from the root, which is the default to volume 56, which apparently is sphere, that's another bug. Then, if I would use the transform tool, here we go, on the sphere, both would move, and if I would use the transform tool on the head, I would just move that. It's very basic if you're used to uh, other 3D applications, but it's still nice to know. Uh, subtract from. Well, uh, let's play around with the with the sphere. I think that's uh, pretty nice. Uh, first, I'm going to change the parent. Work with me here. There we go. And. Uh, I'm going to move this so it intersects with our head. Yeah, I like this spot. Now, if I would subtract this from head. you get this. Well, I think you can imagine the, the possibilities. So, I hope uh, you guys found this useful. Experiment with these features. They are really, really fun. Remember that you can use the cutting features as well. Just have fun merging stuff together and building up volume and your scopes in ways that you never could before.